Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungo, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's anything that you guys want us to react to, let us know in the comment section below, and we'll actually do it for you guys. Just drop us a link, and we wouldn't be able to post if you guys are not giving us stuff to do. So thank you very much. Uh, we've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You guys can head there and enjoy our weekly vlogs and just let us know what you want to see next on that channel and we'll be very glad to get your suggestions. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse and we've got some amazing conversations which you guys, I feel, would enjoy as well. So you can find us on Spotify, iTunes, Spotify, iTunes, Podbean, this channel and our second youtube channel for the visual and we've got a patreon account which you guys can check out and yeah feel free to become members and we'll be very very grateful check out my blog morning coffee with funny some interesting stuff going there i wrote something that i'm yet to post and i'm just so excited so excited to be sharing whatever i'm writing whatever comes to mind um so yeah a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel thank you for 15k subscribers the number is a lot and we're very very grateful thank you for subscribing watching thank you for subscribing watching uh liking sharing and commenting thank you very much you guys are giving us something to do each and every day and we are very much appreciative so today as you can tell from the title a big shout out to the person that suggested this by the way we're going to be reacting to watching movies, Netflix, Asim or Hakim. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Okay, Shay, in this day and age, it's quite popular, especially with the age of Netflix and Amazon and different uh, media outlets, that there's a lot of movies and seasonal programs which take up a lot of time, you know, hours and hours of programs uh, what advice would you give to the youth regarding this well the only advice i would give to the youth is to fear allah azza wa jal. and whenever you want to watch something ask yourself is this pleasing allah or displeasing allah which means that if i die while watching it will i go to jannah or i go to jahannam because this is the last thing i did and the prophet said that some innamal a'malu bil khawatim and this is an addiction and you find this in the youth. They watch a movie, lots of action and car racing and violence and guns and women and partying and comedy for two hours. After it's finished, what happens? They're bored. So they watch another movie and they're happy throughout the movie because it's like some, uh, being sedated. A tranquilizer it makes them out of this world so I'm watching this airplane is landing he's jumping with the parachute mashallah he shoots in the room and he never refills his gun I need this gun he killed almost 200 with the same magazine well what kind of gun is this but it's fun I'm liking it after the movie is over watch another one and a third one and a tenth one and a hundred one and your life is gone down the drain. What did you benefit from watching the movie? Nothing. Just killing time and time, as I've just mentioned in the lecture, is your life. So all of these net, net what is it? Netflix. Netflix and Amazon and Google and YouTube. This is an addiction. It's there for you to get your mind preoccupied with shaitan. And this is why if someone comes and says, listen, listen, put it on pause. I have an ayah to recite to you. What he will say, Alhamdulillah, go, go to hell, man. I'm watching a movie. I don't want to listen to ayah. Akhi, I'm telling you ayah from Allah. He said, yeah, but I'm watching uh, Paramount. What, what is this? I'm watching something. So you find that shaitan is controlling you. And this is what shaitan does 24-7. You wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is brush your teeth, you listen to the radio, and there's music, and there is a, a quiz show, whatever. 
preoccupying your mind. You go to the office, magazines and newspaper, or call, emails, whatever. You go back home, you have lunch and sleep like a dead uh, uh, animal. You wake up, three, four remotes, D, D, T, D, S, T, V, and uh, what, whatever, I, th I think the, so many remotes, so many receivers, and from one channel to the other, to the other by 12 o'clock, one o'clock, it's time to sleep, you go to sleep. Where is your prayer? Where is your Quran, Juzu? Where is your lecture of today? Where is your hadith that you teach your wife and children, or two, or three? What did you do for Akhirah? Nothing. And this vicious cycle goes on and on until you go to your grave. In your grave, it's empty, it's hot, it's dark. While others, when they die, their graves are furnished, air conditioned from Jannah. Believe that? The believer's grave, they have a window bringing from the breeze of Jannah. Do you need air conditioning? And it's filled with light to the end of their sight. Then this is what you get. You want net, net flex? This is up to you. But remember that you are furthering yourself away from Allah Azza wa Jal. May Allah grant us Jannah. I like how he's, um, he doesn't know all these things. It shows that uh, our, generations are, our generation is different from the past. We're coming from an era where people communicated using letters. And now I just have to get my phone to reach somewhere, to reach someone somewhere else in the world. It's quite true because when you think about it right now, we're faced with this pandemic many of us don't know what to do many of us find ourselves wasting our time how about that business you are thinking of starting why not look into it why not find time and look into it how about that book that you've been thinking of writing that's i'm talking about myself why not write it how about checking on checking in on your family that you haven't spoken to invest in something that's going to bring back something to you as well i guess that's what he was trying to say and that's my opinion but if you've got a different opinion let us know in the comment section below we're always glad to read your response so if there's anything that you, that you want us to react to let us know in the comment section below and we'll be very very glad to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video